All right. Okay. So we're starting right now with some cat cows positions. So come on your mats or on soft surface. As I said on Instagram already, start with the pelvic isolations. So turn your tailbone in, curl your back, and then uncurl the tailbone, open up the chest. Pull your belly in, curl the back, and then uncurl the tailbone and arch the back. Pull the shoulders up, shoulder blades down the back. Curl tailbone in, around the back, bring the chin in, and then uncurl the tailbone, pick up the chest. Start to get a bit intuitive with it. So you can move the pelvis to the side as you keep opening with every inhale and rounding with every exhale. And you can also inhale and push into the hands, bring the chest a bit further forward and exhale as you round back, come a bit further back. You can bend the elbows on the way and you can roll the head around. Make this into a practice that works for you so that you wake up your spine. And then come to sit it on your heels. If it's not comfortable to, for you to sit on your heels, then sit in a cross-legged position. Otherwise, sit in a kneeling position, open up the palms to the sides. You want to push away through the palms. <laughs> Don't face palm anyone. Pull the shoulders back, pull the shoulder blades down, and reach the back of the scalp up towards the sky. You want to really push away through the hands and pull the fingers back. We'll do a breathing exercise here. So imagine that you're blowing a candle, and we'll do 20 blowings of the candle. So keep pushing away through the palms and keep breathing. 10, 9, keep pushing, palms away, pull the fingers back, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, exhale, all the air out, inhale the arms up, reach up, interlace the fingers, push up through the palms, reach higher up, and then exhale, just the hands go back, keep the belly in, pick up the chin, inhale, reach up, and exhale, come back to all fours. Okay, so from all fours, bring the le left hand to the center of your mat or uh, at the same line as the center of your chest. And then bring your right hand at the back of your head. Inhale and open up the right chest and exhale, come back down. So keep the sit bones facing back, keep the hips over the knees, inhale, open up the chest, hold it for a second, and exhale, come down, keep pressing down through the left hand, inhale, bring the elbow up, and exhale, come back down, two more times, inhale, and exhale, keep the lower belly in, inhale, and exhale, switch sides. So bring the right hand where the left hand was, press into the arm, bring the left hand behind the neck, and then inhale, pick up the elbow, and exhale, bring the elbow back down. Press into the right hand, inhale, pick up the left elbow, keep the hips square, exhale, come back. Three more, inhale, and exhale, two more, inhale, Exhale, and last one, inhale, and exhale, all right. Press into the hands, tuck the toes under and come to a downward facing dog. Press into the arms, widen the shoulder blades and reach the sit bones up, you can bend the knees. You want to again uncurl the tailbone back and up, anterior pelvic tilt. Press into the arms, push the sit bones up, and then you can start straightening the legs, push back through the heels. If it's too much to straighten the legs, keep the knees bent. Press into the arms, widen the shoulder blades, reach the heels back and breathe. Exhale, press into the hands, reach back through the heels, reach higher up through the sit bones, stretch a bit more, inhale. And exhale, come to your knees. Bring your hands forward. 
and then allow your chest to come closer to the ground. Take a breath here. We will build towards heart melting pose, Anahatasana. So exhale, send the sits bones back and then inhale, pick up the chest and move the knees back so that the knees are right under the hips. Walk the hands forward and keep the hips over the knees and bring the chest towards the ground. Push the shoulders towards the ground, widen the shoulder blades. So move the shoulders away from the, el from the ears and push into the hands and reach the shoulders towards the hands. So shoulders away sideways, but then reach up towards the hands. Allow the chest to come to the ground. Take a deep inhale and exhale through the mouth. If it's comfortable for you, you can bring the, the forehead to the ground, the chin to the ground, or if you're there, bring the chest to the ground. So either of these. You can stay higher up, just bringing the chest towards the ground, and then maybe you bring the forehead down, maybe you go for the chin, or maybe you go all the way to the chest. Inhale here. And exhale, pull the belly in, ribcage towards the chest, inhale. And then um, bring the fingers down onto the mat, press into the fingers, so form cups with the hands, push and round the back. Keep the lower belly in, inhale. And exhale, walk the hands back. Press into the hands, tuck your toes under and come to downward facing dog again. And then inhale the right foot forward, left knee down, push the hips forward to open up the left soles. And tuck the left thing, the toes, and then bring the hands to the thigh and push forward through the hips. Take a deep breath, pull the belly in and reach up through the ribcage. And then exhale, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, chin to chest and rounding. Press the feet onto the ground and push the hips forward. You can stay with the previous variation, no need to push yourself beyond what's comfortable. Just be on that edge where you feel that you're working but you're keeping yourself safe. Again, if you want more, push the hips forward, press down into the feet, bring the chin in and the head towards the knee. Take a deep inhale into the left psoas, the left hip flexors. And then exhale, press into the feet, into the left knee and move the right knee a bit further forward. Good. Pull the belly in, press into the feet, inhale, come back to center and let's switch sides. So bring the left foot forward and push the hips forward again. Again, option to bring the hands to the thighs, pick up the chest, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down and keep pushing forward through the hips while reaching up through the belly button. Bring the chin to the chest and round your back. The more you press down into the feet, the more you activate your muscles, and then the more you push the hips forward, the more you feel the hip psoas. The more you bring the chin in and you round down, again, the more you'll feel it. Take a deep inhale, reaching the belly button up, and exhale, press into the feet, move the hips a bit further forward. Inhale. And exhale, push the hips a bit forward. Pull belly in, press the feet down, inhale, come back up. And then bring the hands to the ground. Okay. So bring your hands down, tuck your toes and lift the hips, downward facing dog. We'll do um, some shoulder shrugs. So what you want is to press into the hands so that the scapula elevates towards the ears and then you let go so that the shoulders come back towards the hips. So it looks like this, you're pressing into straight arms and pushing. What's happening is that your scapula elevates and then drops, elevates and then drops, push and then come down. So try 10 repetitions, pushing into the hands, Reaching from the hands to the sits bones up and press for 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep the arms straight. You're pushing into the hands, just moving the shoulders up and down. 3, 2, and 1. Come back and sit back.
Good job. Pick up the chest, pull the shoulders back. Bring the left hand forward, open up the palm, and then pull the thumb back, pull the index finger back, middle finger back, ring finger, and pinky finger. So go slowly and find your edge. Again, take it easy if this is the first time you're trying some of these exercises. See what you feel and stay with the work. Don't overdo it. Pull the thumb back and then pull all four fingers back. Keep pushing forward through the palm. One more time, thumb back and all four fingers back. Let's try with the other hand. So thumb, index, middle, ring, and pinky. One more time, maybe gently and slowly finding your edge and breathing. And then thumb and all four fingers. And then again, thumb, push the palm forward, and all four fingers, push the palm forward. Amazing. Uh, form a fist, not too strong a fist, just that um, shape of a punch with your left hand and use your right hand, the thumb and the index finger to just hug the point, the wrist, so right above the bony part of the forearm and then draw circles with the fist, again don't overdo it with the fist, it's just a soft fist, go one way and then go the other way. Good. Other hand. Form a fist, hack it with the thumb and the index and roll the fist around. Faster or even stick to a point that feels like it needs some more attention and breathe. Now we'll come to the top of our hands. So we'll place the top of our hands on the ground so that the fingers are facing the feet. Curl the tailbone, pull the belly in, pick up the chest, pick up the chin, pull shoulder blades down the back, and then exhale, pull the lower belly in, curl the tailbone under, and round down. If it's too much with this hand position, then you can keep some weight on the knees and just move with the pelvis. You don't need to put a lot of weight on the wrists. If this is new to you, then take it easy. Just flexing the wrists in this way. And then we'll turn our hands around, so come to a normal table top, top, fingers facing forward. This time we'll intensify the movement, so pull the belly in and curl the tailbone up, lower belly in, pick up the chest, pick up the chin, and use your hands to drag the fingers, the hands back and push the knees forward. Then lower belly in and curl in, round your back. And this time we pull the knees back and we push the hands forward. Again, inhale and curl the tailbone, pick up the chest, pick up the chin and imagine that your hands are being pulled towards the knees and the knees pulls towards the hands, just like magnets pulling towards each other and then other way, round your back, round the belly, the upper back and push away through the palms, push back through the knees. Try it one more time, really articulating the movements. So really uncurl the tailbone first, keep the lower belly in, arch your lower back, your middle back, your upper back, pick up the chin, pull the hands back, the knees forward, and then lower belly in, slowly articulate the cut position. So just like an angry cut, press the knees down, pull the belly in, push forward with the hands, and then come back to neutral. Okay, we'll go for one more um, hand presses, so the, the shoulder straps. If you're comfortable with the legs up the wall, you can do it with the legs up the wall. So option to come back to down dog and press 10 times. Option to come to the wall and walk up the wall so that the feet are at an L shape, and then again you press 10 times. So find your position, down dog or against the wall, and push into the arms, widen the shoulder blades from the hands to the sits bones, you're a straight line, and start. 10, 9, 8, 7, really pressing into the hands, straighten the arms, 
four, three, two, and one. Hold it, pushing away, and then slowly come back and come to your knees. Come to all fours. We'll come to lie down, lie on your belly, and we'll work a bit with different locust positions. So lie on your belly, bring your arms by your sides. I think you can see the mat clearly. First position, feet, uh, legs back, arms by your side, and turn your palms to, to uh, the ground. So press down into the palms. We'll start with our uh, torso, with our upper body. So press into the hands, press into the feet, pull the belly in, pull the belly forward. Then reach the chin forward and reach the chin up. Take three deep breaths here. Four, three. Keep pressing into the feet, into the pubic bone. Four, two. And lift the ribcage forward and up, chin forward and up, and one. And come down. Rest for a second. Okay, we'll do one more. This time you have the option of lifting the arms, not the legs yet. The legs are on the ground. So keep your legs straight, feet hip distance apart. Press the feet on the ground so that the kneecaps lift up. Feel that the legs are active. It's important for the glutes to be active in the back bends. So feel that the glutes are, glutes are coming forward. Bring the palms on the ground, bring the chin forward first. So inhale, chin forward, really reach forward, and then chin up. If you choose to bring the arms up and take three breaths, keep the lower belly in and forward. Four, two, keep breathing, and one. Press into the feet and reach forward and then come down. Bring your arms forward. So the second variation, again, with the upper body. You reach forward through the arms and widen the shoulder blades. And then we'll lift uh, the, the torso, not the, not the hands yet. So press into the feet, press into the thighs, pull the lower belly in and forward, press into the hands, and inhale, reach the chin forward and the chin up. The hands will drag back. Use the hands to pull the chin further forward and the chin further up. Take three breaths. Inhale, and exhale, come down. Rest for a second. So what we want in the back bends is for the upper back to really reach uh, long and then open up. So we're squeezing the upper back so that you open up the upper body, the, the front of the chest, the upper chest. It's easy to do it all with the lower back, but now we want to really pull the ribcage in and reach forward so that we open up through the chest and not collapse on our lower back. So bring your arms forward. This time we'll raise the arms too. So press the feet down, arms forward. Uh, form fists with the hands. So this will be your hand and then you'll turn the fist towards the body and push forward through the wrist. So fist with the hands, pull the belly in Inhale, reach the chin forward and up, arms up, and then bring the fists towards the ground and reach forward and up through the wrist. Four, three, take a deep breath. Four, two, reach higher up, and one. Reach forward first and then come down. Good. Last variation, arms behind the neck, elbows um, by your sides. So you're hiding your head, elbows on the sides. Press down into the feet. Pull the belly in, reach in and forward. Inhale, uh, elbows forward and elbows up. Reach the chin forward, chin up. Four, three. Reach higher up through the chin. Four, two. Reach longer through the lower back. Four, one. Come forward and then come down. Last one. So keep the legs straight, press down into the tops of the feet, reach forward through the glutes, pull the lower belly in and forward, bring your hands behind your head, elbows up, reach away through the elbows, pull the belly in, and then inhale, chin forward and chin up, elbows forward and elbows up, four, three, two, stay with it, keep pressing the feet down, and one, slowly come forward and come down. 
Good. Come to your hands and knees. We'll come to our elbows and we'll try the shrugs again. So just like we were pushing up through the shoulders, this is the same movement we'll be doing, but this time the elbows will be bent and we'll press up, keeping that same long line from the hips to the elbows. You have two options. You can stay with the knees on the ground and just find a long body from the elbows to the sit bones and push. Ten, nine. If you're comfortable in dolphin pose, uh, tuck the toes, lift the hips up and then press into the inner hands and the outer elbows and push. Ten, nine, eight. So choose whether the knees are on the ground or the legs are up. What's important is that from the elbows to the hips, you're a straight line. Push into the inner hands, into the outer elbows, push the chest towards the knees, and start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, keep shrugging, 3, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly calm down. This might feel a bit weird, but um, it will really work with the strength of the upper back and that strength that you need with all of the uh, inversions, but also in order to open up the upper back for all of our back bends. So remember, we're going for the back bends again, but keep the belly in, the body strong. We will now work with our glutes. So strong glutes will help you to, again, back bend better, because the more you squeeze the back of the body, the more you open the front of the body. So come to lie down in the first position, Let's uh, keep distance apart and bring your palms on the ground. Chin on the ground. If it's too much, bring the forehead on the ground. So see what's comfortable for you. Press into the hands and we'll lift the legs. So reach back through the legs first, find the extension and then reach up through the legs. Keep the legs straight and breathe. Four, three, Two, lift higher up using the glutes, and one, slowly reach the legs back, and then take them to the ground. Take a breath, we'll go one more time. Press into the hands, reach the chin forward, reach the feet back. Press down into the pubis, to the pubic bone at the front of the pelvis. Press down, and then inhale, reach the feet back, and reach them up. Exhale, use your glutes, squeeze your butt cheeks, four, three, Keep the lower belly in and forward. Four, two. Lift higher up through the glutes. And one. Slowly come down. Okay, second position. Bring the arms forward. Press the hands forward. Widen the shoulder blades. Reach the chin forward. Reach the feet back. Okay, take a breath. Get ready. Legs again. Just the legs. Keep the arms on the ground. Keep the chest on the ground. Reach back through the feet. Reach up through the feet. Four, three breaths. And two, use the glutes, lift the legs higher, straighten the legs. Four, one, slowly come down. We'll go one more time. Keep the belly in and forward. Press into the hands, reach back through the feet. So head and hands are on the ground, just the legs will lift. Keep the knees uh, straight, straighten the legs. Inhale, reach the feet back and up. Four, three. Two, and reach higher, and one, come down, good, bring your hands behind your head, elbows on the ground, so the second position, again, this time we're focusing, the third position, this time we're focusing on the legs, chin on the ground, elbows on the ground, reach the chin forward, reach the feet back, and inhale, reach the legs up, four, three, two, Reach higher up using the glutes and one slowly reach the feet back and then reach them down. Take a breath. Last one, you can do it. Press the elbows down, reach the shoulder blades down the back, reach the feet further back. Straighten the legs and inhale, reach the feet back and up. Four, three, two, and one. Bring the legs down. Okay. Let's come back up for our inversions. Okay, so you have different options again. 
You can do what we did before, elbows on the ground and lift the, uh, reach the hips back and then elevate the scapula. So what we're doing, remember, is just shrugging through the shoulders and you'll feel the upper back working. You can also do it with the legs straight or you can do it with the legs up to the wall to form an L shape again with the body. So choose your position, press into the inner hands and into the outer elbows. Remember, feet on the ground, knees on the ground or feet on the wall. Press into the elbows, so feel that from the elbows to the wrist, to the uh, sits bones, you're a straight line. And track for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold it for a second and then calm down. Good job. Okay, we'll do one more wrist exercise before coming to our back bends. So come to a seated position that works for you. If sitting, if um, sitting in a low squat, just like they do in India, is comfortable for you, then you can squat and sit like this. Otherwise, sit comfortably. Bring your hands forward, open up the palms, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. Remember, you can just kneel down. Open up the fingers <laughs> and then bring the fingers together. Open up the fingers and then bring the fingers together. Open up the fingers and then bring the fingers together and then go really fast. So really open up the fingers every time. Really wide every time. And go fast. For 10, go faster. For 8, 7, 6, 5. Pick up the pace. Really open up the fingers. 3, 2, and 1. Okay, shake it off. And we'll do some forearm massage. So bring your, uh, the top of the forearm on the ground and use your right knee to massage the forearm. So we're using the right knee to massage the different parts of the forearm. You can press and hold or you can go at a pace that feels good for your form and then go with the other arm so left forearm on the ground use the left knee to press and hold to massage and keep going to give your forearm some love okay all right so here's where we want it to go, both arms and legs will come off the ground. So come to lying down on your belly. You want to, you can use your hands and press on the knees to really push the sit bones back. So uh, you can tuck the toes under and then curl the tailbone up and then let it go back. What you want is just distance in like space in the front of the body. Then you can use the hands to pull the lower belly forward, just so that the sit bones really go back and the lower belly comes forward. Then lie down, bring your palms on the ground, two times. So press the palms on the ground, reach the feet back, reach the chin forward and inhale, Big up, bring up the chest and the legs if you want to, bring the arms up, four, three. Bring the chin forward, chin up, four, two. Use the glutes to lift the legs higher up and one slowly come down, reaching forward through the chin and down through the feet and back through the feet. Okay, we'll go one more time. So reach back through the feet, reach forward through the chin. If you want to, manually push the sit bone back, pull the lower belly forward, find that distance in the uh, front side of the body. Reach the chin forward, inhale, reach forward and up. Exhale, reach the legs up, squeeze the glutes, maybe reach the arms up, maybe keep the palms on the ground. Four, three, two, squeeze a bit more through the back of the body, open up the chin, forwards, come forward through the chin and down. Good job. Rest, four, three, two, 
And one, bring the arms forward, form fists with the hands, and push forward through the wrists. So this is the position that you want with the arms, really pushing forward through the tops of the fists and pushing forward through the wrists. So from that position, lying down, reach the fists forward, reach the chin forward, and inhale, arms up, legs up, four, three, push further forward and up through the arms, up through the chin, four, two, higher through the legs, squeeze the glutes, four, one, come down, and rest. If you feel any discomfort in the lower back, it's very important to really uh, lengthen the front of the body. So pull the lower belly in and forward and reach the sit bones back. With that length, you lengthen the lower back too and you focus on the upper body opening and you focus on the uh, muscle work rather than collapsing on your lower back. Last one with the fists. So form fists, push forward through the uh, wrists, uh, reach back through the feet. Inhale, reach forward through the chin, through the arms, and up, up through the legs, four, three. Use the glutes, four, two, straighten the legs, legs up, arms up, chin up, four, one, exhale, come down. Okay, hands behind your head, elbows out, bring your forehead on the ground, reach away through the elbows, reach back through the legs. Inhale, reach the, the head forward, the elbows forward, the elbows up, and exhale, squeeze the glutes, lift the legs, four, three. You can do it, lower belly in and forward, reach in and forward, and up, and reach the legs up, and come down. Okay, one more from this position. Again, you can manually reach the sit bones back and pull the lower belly forward. Bring the elbows to the sides, hands behind the neck. Find a long neck, find a long lower back. Reach back through the feet and inhale, elbows forward, elbows up, legs up. Four, three, four, two, a bit more chest, a bit more legs, and one, calm down. Good. Use your hands to push and to calm up. Okay. So if you want to work a bit with the uh, inversions now, you can again use the wall or you can come back to uh, down dog and do some jumps. So if you want to use the wall, you can jump against the wall and work with just some balance on the arms. So pressing into the arms and reaching up through the legs just to start working towards a handstand. If you want to work from down to then push into the arms, widen the shoulder blades, walk the feet in, and reach one leg up. Keep pressing into the arms, widen the shoulder blades, and breathe. Four, five breaths. Four, press into the arms, widen the shoulder blades. Four, three. Pick up the left heel and reach the right heel higher. Four, two. And one, slowly come down, switch sides. So you can first shake it off. Remember that shrug action, you really want to push away through the arms. So again, you can use the wall and you can jump up at the wall and work with that variation. Otherwise, come back to your down dog, we'll lift the other leg. So bring the feet in first, a short downward facing dog, pressing to the arms. Elevate the scapula, so really press the shoulders into the hands, but widen the shoulders. You can gaze in between the hands for this one. Reach the left leg up this time, and breathe. Four, five. Press into the arms, widen the shoulder blades. Four, four. You can lift the right heel up, lift the left foot up. Four, three. Two. Lower belly in, strong belly. And one. Slowly, come down. And now we'll work with the forearms on the ground. So forearms on the ground, press the inner hands and the outer elbows down. Tuck the toes under and come to a dolphin pose. You can stay in dolphin and push. If you're comfortable, walk the feet in, but keep pushing the chest towards the feet. You can stay here or bring one leg up, four, five. 
Press inner hands and outer elbows down. Four, four. Chest towards the feet. Keep the left foot and keep reaching the right heel up. Four, two. And one. Slowly come down. Okay. Feel free, welcome to come to child's pose. We'll do one more forearm inversion. So come back to your forearms, press inner hand and outer elbows down. Press the, tuck the toes under, lift the hips, walk the feet in. Push into inner hand, outer elbows, reach the chest towards the feet and keep pushing the shoulders towards the elbows. If you did it on the other side, then do it with the left leg now. So left leg up, four, three or you can stay with the legs on the ground. Four, two, keep the belly in, reach the heels up, and one. Slowly, come down. Rabbit pose. So we'll curl in this time, rounding the back. Pull the shoulders down the back and place the crown of the head on the ground. Use the hands to support some weight with the hands and push the middle back towards the sky, towards the ceiling. Keep pressing the head on the ground, keep rounding the back. Four, five. Really pull the lower belly in, flex the front of the body. Four, four. Three, remember in cat cow, so this is again cow, uh, cat, really flex through the front of the body. Four, two, pull the shoulder blades towards the sacrum, and one. Come back, pressing to the hands to help you to come up. Crow pose. If you are immune to crow, bring the knees to the eye outside of the triceps. Press the hands down, elbows in. We'll round the back and we'll gaze forward. So round the back, gaze forward and bring all the weight to the arms. From here, maybe bring the right foot up. Four or five. Keep pressing the hands down. Four or four. Maybe switch the legs. Left foot up, four, three. Keep pressing the hands down, round through the back, four, two. Press into the hands, maybe lift both feet, four, three, two, and one. Okay, calm down, shake it off. We'll just go one more time. If this variation was easy for you, you can bring the knees behind the armpits, press the hands down, elbows in, and start pushing with the straight arms. Keep the back rounded. So choose, you can go lower with the knees to the outer arms or knees in the armpits and push into the arms. Four or five. Four, so try it. Maybe you lift the feet. Four, three. Keep pressing down into the hands and keep rounding the back. Four, two. Keep the belly in, gaze forward. And one, slowly come back. Good job. Okay. We'll come to lying on our back. We'll open up the arms to the sides, pull the shoulders towards the ground, shoulder blades towards the sacrum. So lower your shoulder blades and lengthen the back of the neck. Bring the knees, hip uh, above the hips, flex the feet, keep the knees bent. So from here, we'll move the hips towards the left so that the knees come to the right and you want to find a straight line from the hips to the head. Pull the shoulder blades down the back and gaze to the left. If the left arm is not on the ground, keep the, knee, the, the knees grounded. Pull the belly in, open up the chest and maybe use the elbow to uh, find the ground. Keep pulling the shoulder blades down and maybe you extend the arm. Four, three. Pull the shoulder blades down, open up the left chest. Four, two. And one. Pull the belly in, knees to chest, switch side. So bring the hips to the right, so that the hips are under the head. Same line, and then bring the knees to the side, so that you form two right angles. A right angle with the hips, and a right angle with the knees. Make sure that the knees are grounded. Pull the belly in, pick up the chest, open up the arms, pull the shoulder blades down, and gaze to the right. Four, three. Two. and one. Pull the belly in and bring the knees back to center. Bring the feet to the ground. Feet hip distance apart. We'll go for a dynamic bridge. So pressing to the feet 
and inhale. Uh, tuck the tailbone in, so posterior pelvic tilt, pubis towards your chin. Inhale, bring the hips up and the arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the hips down and the arms by your sides. Pressing to the feet, inhale, hips up, knees away from you, chest towards the chin, and exhale, arms come back by your sides, synchronize the arms with the hips. One more time, press the feet down, inhale, the hips up, knees away, chest towards the chin, and exhale, bring the arms back down, keep the belly in, come down. Straighten the legs, flex the feet, and bring the legs up, keep the belly in, and bring the arms by the sides. Keep the legs straight and move the feet towards the left hand. Inhale, bring the, hand, the legs back up to 90 and then exhale the feet towards the right hand. They don't need to move much. Keep pressing the lower back on the ground. Exhale, left hand. Inhale, bring the feet over the hips and then exhale, feet towards the right hand. One more time, feet up over the hips. Feet towards the left hand, maybe you go a bit lower, but keep the lower back to the ground. Inhale, come back up, and exhale, bring the feet towards the right hand. Keep the legs straight. Inhale, come back to center, and then bring the knees to the chest. Bring your hands to the knees, press into the knees, and reach the sit bones back. So lengthen your lower back. Pick up the chest, pull the shoulder blades down. Press into the hands with the knees and push down with the hands to lengthen the lower back. Inhale, reach the sit bones back, reach the crown of the head up. And exhale, press the knees closer to the body and keep pressing up with the knees. One more time, inhale, find a bit more length through the whole spine. And exhale, keep pressing the hands into the knees, knees into the hands. Okay, bring your feet to the ground, open up the feet so that they are a bit wider apart than uh, your mat, so a bit wider than shoulder width apart, and then bring your knees together, that way you lengthen your lower back. You can bring your forearms on top of the eyes, relax the forehead, Relax your chin, relax your shoulder blades down the back. Inhale from your sit bones all the way to the crown of the head. Find more length and open the mouth. Exhale out. One more time. Inhale from the sit bones to the crown of the head. And then open the mouth and exhale out. Okay, so you're welcome to stay here. So you can keep the arms over the eyes or place something else over the eyes. Maybe you extend the arms by your sides. If you're more comfortable with the legs extended, you can extend the legs. Just again, make sure that the lower back is not compromised. If you feel any pressure in the lower back, you can bend the knees again. Pull the shoulder blades down the back, bring the chin in slightly so that the back of the neck is long. If you're not comfortable lying face up, by all means lie on your side or lie face down. You want to feel comfortable for this one. Inhale from your toes to the crown of the head. Scan the body for any air of, of tension, of stiffness. And then open the mouth, side out, let go. Allow your body to relax completely. Allow your breath to be natural, to be gentle. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw, relax your inner ears, relax. Relax the fingers of your hands one by one. Relax the toes of your feet one by one. Relax the layers of muscles at the pelvis, one by one. Allow the diaphragm to be free. Allow the rib cage to 
Clear out with every inhale and come back in with every natural exhale. And for the next few moments, lie in stillness. Lie with all of your awareness at the center of your chest. Allow every second to bring more peace to your body. Allow gravity to pull you closer to the center of the earth. And enjoy this feeling of relaxation, this feeling of surrender. Relax. Perhaps we should love ourselves so fiercely that when others see us, they know exactly how it should be done. Gently bring your awareness back to your body. to the space occupied by your body. Notice your breath. Allow your breath to get deeper, longer. Allow your breath to fill the whole body with energy, with life. your fingers and move your head from side to side. Find any stretch, any movement your body needs to do to wake up. Twist, extend, do anything you need to do. We'll meet in a seated position in one minute. So make the most of this minute. Yeah.
comfortable seat. Sit in front of your sits bones, really lengthen the lower back, open up the chest. Relax the muscles of your face, extend your arms out, pick up the chest and breathe deeply from your uh, sits bones all the way up to the crown of the head. Exhale through the nose, feel how the practice settles into your body. Everything you've worked is now digested by the body. Inhale deeply. One more time, exhale through the nose. Allow every cell of your body to be rejuvenated, replenished, nourished, nurtured. And inhale again, inhale a deep, deep breath. Open the mouth, let it go. Relax your elbows, bring your hands to the chest. Allow your head to bow down to the heart. We finish our practice saying Namaste, which means I bow to you, I see you. So thank you for everything you are, I see you, Namaste. Good job everyone. Stay open. These little exercises will help you during the week if you need to just open up, just do some stretches, do some back bends on the, on the ground. It helps because you're really grounded and you feel that ability to open up without collapsing on the lower back. But feel free to do any of the exercises we did. Also the wrist exercises, stay safe, stay sane and keep in touch. If you have any comments, recommendations, let me know. Hope to see you again. <laughs>